Details from investigators tonight. Thanks, Robert. And NBC2 News Alert now. Sex, fighting, and financial stress. New details from investigators tonight leading up to the murder of Dr. Teresa Sievers. Thousands of texts and calendar entries paint a bizarre picture of Mark Sievers, who's accused of orchestrating her brutal death. NBC2's Andrea Hubble poured over the documents this evening. She's live with what they say. Well, text and calendar entries going back as far as 2008 show a loving, open, and healthy sex life. Heading towards the day Teresa was found bludgeoned to death in her own home displays a marriage on the rocks. A charming couple, established doctor, a picture perfect family from the outside. Behind the doors at Jarvis Road, another story was playing out. Documents appear to show Mark Stevers kept a sex log, part of an everyday itinerary, explaining when, how, and where the couple would have sex, sometimes other partners they had sex with. This one from July 2015 reading sex after dinner with two other people. Another reading T times two, sex me times three. Then a familiar name, Wayne, enters the bizarre calendar. Toward the end, she mentioned Wayne. She really enjoyed having door open when he was in town. Then texts and logs became darker. Teresa becomes short, even angry, swearing at Mark. On June 13th, this is expletive that you left and did not tell me. I should leave you here without a ride home. And this text after her death, proving this sender knew nothing of the husband's suspected plan to murder his wife, telling Mark... Don't blame yourself. Looking through text, Mark Sievers also became close with another woman. It's obvious their relationship was sexual, and at one point, Mark even says that he loves her. The last time Mark told Teresa he loved her in a text was about two months before she was murdered. Live in the control room, Andrea Hubble, NBC.